Hello student, uh, this is a clip that's going to demonstrate you how to solve for the loop task and we are going to determine the vertical and horizontal displacement at a point on the task, on the task. But this one uh, they ask us to determine at point P the loop task have the top chord and bottom chord. What is the bottom chord? Bottom chord is here. Okay, and the top chord is here with the area of A. Okay, A is equal to uh, 90, 10 minus 6 meters square. And the other section, they could have, the other section, they could have the area of 0.5a so this member is 0.5a and the yellow have the cross section of a and it's made by the steel so they give us the e equal to 200 gigapascal as we know they ask us to determine the defection at b okay what happened is uh, before we going to do further let us trying to understand what happened okay when this one push here okay our beam uh, gonna have what gonna defect like uh, downward right and since this one cannot move horizontally and vertically only this one can move okay and if this one move like this and this one going move is supposed to move maybe downward here so uh, what I expect this beam gonna have this kind of deformation and we can expect the elastic curve since this one is downward this one also downward on the right and then this one should move here and this one may move somewhere here and then if you connect the member of the task uh, you may get the primary preliminary elastic curve of the task in the form like uh, uh, I'm doing here okay and what they asked us they said uh, under the force we're going to determine the vertical so this is going to be the vertical okay this is going to be V sub B vertical and it also asks us to determine v sub v horizontal okay and uh, that is uh, going to be our elastic curve but it didn't do it properly yet until we get the value of uh, the defection but just the expectation by using your engine sense and engine adjustment this task subjected to three forces okay the three forces this one this one this one the forces are symmetry okay and uh, then we're going to use the method of virtual work or the unit load method to to sort it what is uh, the basis of this uh, the basis of this is for the method of uh, virtual work we have what so called the the uh, virtual displacement equation virtual virtual work sorry virtual work uh, equation for the virtual work equation what we have is we're going to put what is the virtual is put the virtual force into this task okay and that's mean what to uh, using this method, uh, you gonna put the virtual force. The virtual force is going to be the one unit force, since it's going to have also the name of unit load as we have uh, in the PowerPoint. And we are going to determine what we are going to determine the vertical defection at point B first so this one is the pin this one is the roller 
So we got to put one unit force at, at the B in the direction given here. So the first one, if we like to determine the vertical, vertical displacement, we put one point or unit at what? At B to find vertical, vertical. And I surely assume it's going to be the downward as I uh, do the elastic curve. And what happened is we're going to have this one unit this one unit. If you multiply this one unit by this vertical displacement, by this vertical displacement, let's say multiply one by phi sub b of phi. And if the force times the displacement, what we have is going to be what's so called the external virtual work. Virtual work. The work is a force time displacement and since the one is assumed so it's the virtual and it's external because it's occur uh, on, on external of the task not inside the member of the task and this one going to be equal to equal to the internal internal virtual work okay and the internal virtual work uh, are derived uh, previously and we know that this is going to be summation of the force due to the app pilot here so this is going to for what this is going to use to determine the internal force due to the app pilots and then under the unit load okay you will get what so called the n the normal force in the member subjected to subjected to the force at b in the vertical direction so this one will provide with uh, the normal force so the internal virtual work gonna be the real force okay time the what time the time the elongation or contraction of the member and if you recall if you have the member like this and then you have the force uh, uh, n here with small force n here you have the stress equal to epsilon times ten. so you have the normal force divided by a and it's equal to e and this is going to be the deformation divided by l okay if you put this you're going to get the deformation going to be equal to the force n time l over a e okay so this term is going to be the the virtual displacement this is going to be the virtual displacement or elongation elongation or contraction of the member contraction of the member and then if it's time by the real force so it's going to be the internal virtual work so this is going to be n at b vertical and you're supposed to put i because there is various member here and then it's going to time what you know time l l sub i over a sub i and e sub i so virtual force time the real displacement is external virtual work and then equal to internal virtual work which is the real internal force time the virtual deformation of the member okay and also if you like to determine the horizontal horizontal displacement you also also need to do the same thing but this time this time you got to put the force in the different way previously we put the force at point b in the vertical direction to determine the vertical displacement and this time you're going to find the horizontal displacement so comparatively you can put the one unit force at what 
SB, but this time it's going to be in in the horizontal direction like this, and you may have this one for 1.0 this time, and it's going to have the 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 this one the displacement at B in the horizontal direction V sub B horizontal direction. And then it's going to be equal to summation of n sub i. Still be the same, n. Okay, n is the fact. It's always the facts. It won't change. Because it's, it's the internal force due to the real applied force. And this one is going to change to what? This is n sub b, but this force horizontal. So you time is it n sub b horizontal. And then I. And the last one, L sub I divided by A sub I, E sub I. That is the property of the section. Okay, it's going to be the same no matter the apply force R. Okay, then uh, from this equation, we will start by first by determining the N. Okay, to determine the N uh, due to the symmetry, due to the symmetry of the apply load okay and we have we have we have what we have we have a sub y equal to equal to this one is c sub y equal to 30 divided by 2 it's going to be 15 kilo newton so what we have here is going to be the reaction here just put this this is going to be 15 kilo newton and this also going to be 15 kilo newton okay and then we are going to start to determine the forces in each member okay however however if you take a look at the table uh, the problem give you some of the forces already for example uh, it said it had the DE of minus 6.667 so this is minus 6.667 kilonewton already okay and also it had the BE what is the BE? BE is here BE is minus 5.0 so this is minus 5.0 they give us already and next is the BD is the BD is plus S.333 okay now what we have is we are going to determine the rest of it okay so uh, by starting the determination of N can you start with the A? no A have 1, 2, 3 unknown and you may start by the F because the F have 2 unknown okay uh, by doing that, just take a look at the what at the method of joint, and this one is going to be the F, okay, and then we put this in the x direction, and this one in the y direction, and then it's subject that ten kilonewton, so the force is here is ten kilonewton. What we have is the member. AF will resist this vertical force. This is going to be F sub AF. Okay. And F sub FE. <coughs> F sub FE is over here. F sub FE. And you can see that if you do the summation of the F sub X equal to zero, what you get is F sub FE is zero so f sub f e equal to zero kilo newton that is the first one we have and then we put this is positive and the next one if you do the summation of f sub y equal to zero this time you put this one up is positive so f sub a f f sub a f f sub f is going to be what is going to be 15 this time and then no sorry it's 10 
10 kilo Newton and then we have this okay so next we have this for zero kilo Newton and uh, AF AF is like this so this one is going to be in compression so this one gonna be minus 10 now when we know this minus 10 we start to consider this point of point A and point A gonna subject that to F sub AF yes, it's going to be 10 kN and it's also have 15 kN here so put the 15 kN here and you have uh, this one for the x direction and this one for the y direction and you have the member AB right so you put the uh, AB in what when you have the member subjected to the force like this it's going to bend like this when it's bent like this the bottom gonna be in in tension the top gonna be in compression so this one in compression so I believe this one gonna be in tension and uh, that we set this one up as this one and it's gonna be F sub a B this is gonna be F sub A B and then you can see the 15 kilo Newton is up is larger than the 10 kilo Newton so the force here the force here which is going to be F sub A E F sub A E F sub A E have the ratio of what 2.4 and 1.8 and if you divide it by 0.6 this is going to be 3 this is going to be 4 okay so you have the ratio of 3 4 and 5 so which equation is going to be the first one you're going to use summation of f sub y or summation of f sub x if you put the summation of f sub x you're going to get two unknowns and you cannot solve it okay so we start by the summation of f sub y equal to zero to take this one okay to be the unknown so the downward is positive so you have f sub a e f sub a e in the vertical direction is gonna time 3 divided by 5 so time 3 divided by 5 and then in the in this direction downward is positive so it's gonna be plus 10 and what the 50 is up so it's going to be 15 now the f sub a e f sub a e okay gonna be equal to so you move here that's going to be 10 15 minus 10 so it's going to be 5 and then you move 5 time this one is going to be 5 over 3 so you get is for 25 divided by 3 that is gonna be equal to 8.333 kilo Newton and this one is gonna be in compression so it's in compression let's put the AF AF also in compression okay and the last one we have this force and we do what is the summation of x sub x equal to zero right and put this one as the positive so we have f sub a b here so f sub a b and then you project this one horizontally this f sub a e must time 4 over 5 and it's in the opposite direction so it's minus 4 over 5 and itself is 8.33 3 okay so it's equal to zero and then when you push it into the calculator you will get f sub a b equal to uh, 6.667 this is 6.667 kilo newton and it's going to be in 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 tension okay okay we are like this for six point six six seven so this one is plus six point six six 
7. And this one is going to be minus 8.333. Okay. Now, we're going to have two more left over here. Okay. And it's going to be better just to using the method of joy to cut it at the C. And then we have this point. Okay. At the C. Here. This is going to be the x this is going to be the y and we have this member bc so this is going to be the member a sub bc and this one have 15 kilonewton acting here that is the reaction c sub y that is 15 kilonewton what we have is we have the cd so the CD for sure is going to be in compression. This is going to be F sub CD. And now you can determine the, the force easily, right? Okay, if you do this, you may use the summation of F sub X equal to zero. And then what you get is F sub BC. This is plus F sub BC equal to zero because there is no horizontal force and then if you use f sub y equal to zero this time that what is positive so you got f sub c d downward this is upward equal to 15 kilo newton and then the force here is going to be what in compression in compression this is going to be minus 15 this minus 15 and this is going to be zero so that is what we determine the the normal force n in the member okay you may call it a member force in the task due to the apply force now we're going to determine n sub bv okay and then you may use the same thing due to the symmetry of the force so we will have the reaction here of 0 0.5 and the reaction here of 0 0.5 and you may use also the concept of zero force member by using the concept of zero force member zero force member what we have is if we have two elements connected at a joint and there is no apply force so the force here the force here gonna be zero okay and the same thing this one and this one pretty close you can see this is zero right so the force here should be zero and then the force here also 615 this one is minus 15 so this one is going to be minus 0 0.5 okay that's what we have and then if you consider the 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 free body diagram here you may get the point a okay the point a is here is the a and then it's going to subject that to 0 0.5 here and it's have the a b okay and also also a e the same thing here a b and a e so we're going to have the force here is going to be n sub a b this one n sub a b and the force here this is n sub a b is similar to here Okay, this member and this one gonna be N sub A E. And this one gonna be N sub A E. And you also have this one for three, four, five. And if one is Y, this one is X, and you compare this one and this one, you can see something. What you see is this is 10, this is 15, so the force here gonna reduce to 5. Okay, this is 0.5. So this is 5 kilonewton. Produce F sub AB 
here and produce f sub so see produce f sub a e here and produce f sub a b here so since the force is 10 times less so you will get the f sub a b here which is here going to be 10 times less also so this is going to be plus 0 0.666 and 7 okay without do the calculation and this one is going to be going to be less for 10 times it's going to be minus 0 0.8333 okay that's it's going to be easier to determine it and later you may use this portion to determine the force in in member this and this member or you may use this portion this point to determine this okay if you use this this is going to be the choice d and uh, if you like uh, you may draw the free body diagram of joint d here and you have the compression of of 0 0.5 here okay and then you supposed to have the what the force about here since this is in in compression i believe this one going to be in tension and this one along this is going to be f sub b d and you may know that the ratio here gonna be three four and five and since this one is in this direction so the force here going to be in this direction this is going to be f sub e d f sub e d and then if you set up this one as the x this one going to be the y which equation you can use first okay <coughs> if you consider this in the vertical direction you may show this one immediately if you put it in the x direction you would okay so by doing this just summation of x sub y equal to zero this one when you project is going to be downward so set the downward is positive so you get f sub ed downward times three over five so f sub ed that is going to time time 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 this is downward and it's going to equal to it's going to equal to 0.5 so it's equal to 0 0.5 and then you will get f sub ed equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then it's going to be time what the 5 going to be up time 5 over 3 so you got this for Four, four, six point six six seven, six point six six. So sorry, zero point six 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 seven. Okay, this is going to be this one. Uh, Ed minus zero point six 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 and seven. Okay, and since this one is, this one is going to be. Oh, sorry no let me time this one and do it wrong uh it's going to be what five times point five divided by three that's it's going to be five times point five and divided by three it's going to be oh sorry uh point eight three 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 so this one is going to be Okay, zero point eight three three three. Uh, this is going to be which member? It's not this one. This is wrong. This one F sub E. F sub E D. F sub 
ed time t over five no f sub ed f sub ed time t over five is downward equal to point five. This is BD, not ED. I'm sorry. So this is BD, F sub BD, F sub BD. Okay, so this one F sub BD. And this one going to be 0 0.8333, Okay, this one we have it in tension. So to put this one is plus 0 0.8333 okay and now summation of x sub f equal to 0 x sub x so you going to find f sub ed this time and you have this one is positive so f sub ed here going to equal to this guy project in the horizontal direction that is going to be 0 0.8333 when you project it in horizontal direction time 4 divided by 5 so time 4 divided by 5 and now you get f sub ed of 0 0.6667 0 0.6667 okay this one is sure correct and it's going to be in compression this one is minus 0 0.6667 six 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 and seven okay now we finish determining the the normal force in this task and the normal force in this task due to the one unit force in at b in the vertical direction okay let's not uh, use this equation now we have this we have this so we're going to determine the dimension of the the member of the task. Let's see what we have. What the AB? Uh, the length of AB is two point four. This is going to be two point four. BC, BC is going to be two point four, and CD, CD is one point eight, and DE, okay, is already, and EF, EF is two. Point four and AF AF is one point eight and what we have the AE so AE is equal to BD BD is three point zero this is going to be three point zero and the area all A are given okay and we got to put the author for zero point five A. Now, we just put this thing, this is going to be 0 0.5 A, 0 0.5 A, 0 0.5 A, A going to be the divider, okay, this is 0 0.5 A and 0 0.5 A. And now, what we have is the force N, what we have, AB, AB is here, plus 6.667. BC, BC is here, BC is zero. And CD is minus 1.5. And this is DE. And this is EF. And this is AF, AF minus 10.0. Don't forget about the side here, okay? And AE, AE is minus 3.8.333. Okay, and now we have this already. And the last one is the normal force at B vertical. And what we have is the AB 0 0.6667. BC, BC, CD, CD minus 0 0.5 and DE this one minus 0 0.6667 six, six, 
six, seven. And e, e, F, this is F, zero. And A, F, A, F is zero. And A, E, A, E is minus zero by eight, three, three, three. And B, E, B, E is here. Okay. Uh, you can determine BE. Uh, let's say this is going to be 0 0.5. One more. You just cut any joints and do the calculation. Okay, we got this one for plus 0 0.5 for this one. And the last one, BD. Uh, B, B, D is here. Plus 0 0.8333. Okay, now we put everything into this equation. So big capital N, small n, L, divided by A, the E. The E is the same, so we can put E later. Ah, now, what we have is, we're going to determine this. So, it's going to be what? Capital N, small n, time L, okay, divided by A. So, the first one... Uh, you will get is as 10 this one time this one time this one is going to be plus plus is going to be plus 10 10 point six six eight six six eight divided by e and this is zero okay this is zero and this is zero everything time is zero minus minus is going to be plus take this one first okay you may forget it later this one minus minus is plus okay minus minus is plus minus plus is minus plus plus is plus now we just put this one into this one don't forget to divide it by 0 0.5a so this one you will get 27 over a and this one this one this one divided by a you can get this one for 10.668 divided by a this one and this one, they are the same, but uh, the size kind of different. And this one going to have, what, 41.664 divided by A. This one minus 9 divided by A. This one also 41.664 divided by A. Now, we have the summation, right? So you got to sum them. Summation of everything. And then you may get this for 122.64 divided by A. And then you may put later. Now, we come into here. So, this is equal to what we have here is 122.64. The A, the A is here. Okay. And the E, the E is here. And since we compute this one in kilonewton, so the E is going to be 200 times 10 power 6 kilonewton per square meter. Not newton, it's in kilonewton. So this one is going to have uh, 200 and 10 power 6 kilonewton per square meter. And the area here is in meter square already. So we can put it easily for what for 90 and then it's going to be 10 this is 10 minus 6 and meter square now 10 minus 6 and 10 power 6 can be cut and if you put everything in your calculator you can get this one equal to 6.81 6.81 10 minus 3 meter or you may have 6.81 millimeter and the value of this is positive when the value is positive it's gonna follow this okay it's gonna load the one unit for so it's down so this is the first one we have for uh, the defection of B in vertical direction and next we're going to determine the horizontal 
this pacemen at joist B. So we put one unit force here, okay, and then we have N sub BH. We do N sub BH, we are going to determine it. Gonna time with the, the normal force N in the member. And then you can put into this equation to determine the horizontal displacement over here. Okay, uh, let us consider uh, from the free body here what you should we have is the what is what here is going to be c sub y and it's going to be a sub y and it's going to be a sub x and you may have from the this one you may take the moment summation moment about a equal to zero so the c sub y gonna be here okay you can see sub y time 2.4 2.4 c sub y gonna time 4.8 so you're going to have 4.8 c sub y the force here is putting here zero moment and no else force is going to be zero so c sub y equal to zero and then you may have summation of x sub x equal to zero and then you get the a sub x here is going to be 1.0 so this is going to be the a sub x and if you do the summation of f sub y equal to zero a sub y gonna be zero so this is zero this is zero when this is zero you can apply the concept of 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 zero force member the same concept of zero force member here and this is gonna be zero zero okay and you also since this one is zero this is zero this is zero and since there is no force here if you do summation this is zero this is zero okay and now just draw the Fibre diagram of this choice. Let's see. This is the A. We have this one for the X. This one for the Y. We have A sub X of 1.0 here. And we also have this one for N, N sub what? N sub A, B. N sub A, B. And over here is zero and you may have the force another force here also okay this one n sub a e a e okay and the ratio here is gonna be the same three four and five by using this you may use the summation of f sub y equal to zero you may have n sub a e time 405 and it is zero so your n sub a e is going to be zero and if you have summation of x sub x equal to zero this time is positive so your n sub a b gonna be one so you get this for 1.2 and it's going to be in positive okay and you get this one for zero when you get this one for zero 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 the force here also be zero now you have only force here and it's along the a b direction and then we just come to this table and this is going to be plus one point oh and zero 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 Zero, 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 zero here. Now, if you time this one uh, of them, uh, zero except this one. This one is n time this one time this one, right? It's going to be what? 6.667 time 2.4, 6.667 time. 2.4 so you get it for 
16. Okay, that's it. it's going to be the 16. Just put this for the 16. Hmm, that is plus 16. Okay, and then if you do the summation, you're going to have this one. Just simple summation of all of this. This is going to be divided by A also because you have the area here. This is going to be 16.0 divided by A. And now you're going back here. So this one going to be equal to equal to 16 divided by 200 and 90 and then you will get this for for the displacement at b in the horizontal direction and what should we have uh, you may put this to <clears throat> 0 0.89 10 minus 3 that's it's going to be this is 0 0.89 10 minus 3 meter or is equal to 0 0.89 millimeter the direction of this is going to be positive right so it's going to be something like this okay now what we have is we have this one this one this one we have the defection here this one for 6.81 so this one is 6.81 millimeter is downward this is to the light of 0 0.89 so this is going to be equal to 0 0.89 millimeter so this is going to be the the vertical and horizontal displacement as b when the thrust subjected to the load show and this elastic curve is quite dark properly okay and then next they ask us to next step the member de is longer than usual so the next question is going to be about the fabrication earlier okay we have the fabrication earlier problem now we just follow what step we have before uh, just take a look at the equation what we have for the fabrication earlier fabrication er at at member is said de right de is longer than it used to be member de now the equation that we have for this uh, the uh, virtual work equation that we have is going to be 1.0 the same thing 1.0 and 1.0 is for for what for the force that apply to to the defection to determine the reflect at b in the vertical direction so it's going to be this picture and then this one is going to be equal to the summation of n sub i due to this this is n sub i n sub b v i and then it's going to have the delta l i by using this it's going to be what the delta l as the member d e so it's going to have n as the member d e so what we have is the member d e so member d e is this member d e is this it has the end of n sub b v of this okay and if the case we have this one as n sub d e and this one going to be five millimeter this one will be five millimeter so uh, if you time it is going to be equal to 
minus 6, 0 point six 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 seven. That is with n. And time, what we have is longer 5 millimeter. Just time this. Okay, and then if you put everything in your calculator, this is going to be equal to minus 3.33 millimeter. Okay, that means what? That means it's going to be 3.33 millimeter. In the negative, that means it's going to be upward. So the deformation due to this is going to be upward. And then it's asked us again, horizontal displacement. So again, we put the 1.0 here, 1 point. Let me put this one, 1 point O, okay, time what? V sub B in the horizontal direction. So this is going to be summation of N sub I B V and this time delta l sub i okay and this time we have what the force here is going to be this one to be this one and what is going to be the force in de it's be here it's going to be here. it's zero so this is going to be equal to n sub de okay when the force sorry due to bh this is bh okay time delta l de and it's going to be equal to zero time plus 5 millimeter and the answer is going to be equal to 0 millimeter there is no displacement here okay and if you like you may draw this picture what you have is the curve of this this is going to be pin this is going to be roller actually you can put about here but it's okay it's not that good so this time is up is up for for 3.3 3.33 millimeter so that's mean there is no movement in the horizontal, only this just up. Okay, when this one up, this one also up. And then I believe this one going to be something like this. This one may move a little bit here because it's up. Okay, and it's going to be the shape of this last line. And this one, uh, maybe this one this way. We don't know the author yet, but for sure, just at what we do the calculation. And what we have is this is going to be the elastic curve of the fabrication earlier. Okay, it's going to be up like that. And the last one, the last one, they ask us for the temperature change. For the temperature change, uh, they says member DE has the temperature change of plus 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, okay, by now, just a little bit, just so to have some area that I can show you. Okay, next one uh, is about the temperature change, it's about the temperature change. Tem Change at at the at 
add member D. Okay, and now what equation do we have? It's going to be the same thing. It's going to use the uh, virtual work equation, but this time you're going to put 1.0 in which direction? In direction of the friction. Okay, at point B in the vertical direction. So this is going to be the external virtual work one. Okay, time the defection in the vertical. And then it's, this thing is due to only the temperature. Okay, that means uh, what we have is going to be equal to the summation. This one, N sub BV, N sub I BV. And then it's going to time what? The, the deformation due to the temperature change and you know that this is going to be alpha L delta T I okay that's we studied it. it's due to the temperature in which the alpha the alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion and you know that alpha is going to be 12 times minus 6 per degree Celsius and since you are interested at the at the n sub bv and since this one occur only at the de so this equation can reduce to a more simple one that is going to be equal to n sub de and time alpha okay and then delta t and l of the de okay and then if you put further into this equation the n sub de is the same in the vertical direction is going to be minus 0 0.6667 and then the alpha is going to be 12 10 minus 6 per degree Celsius and then the delta t, the delta t, the problem says delta t is going to be 30 degree Celsius. And the length of this member is 2.4. So that is going to be 2400 millimeter. Now, you will get the vertical displacement at B due to the temperature change of minus. 0.88 millimeter or uh, it's going to be 0 0.88 millimeter is minus this is downward it's going to be upward okay this is going to have very similar to this this is going to be okay 3.33 but this one is only 0.88 now for another one the vertical they already the horizontal the displacement at point b in horizontal direction is going to be the summation of n sub i b and now this one gonna be h not b h and then the author is alpha l delta t i and it's occur only the d and only at the at the DE so N okay D E D E but this time this time is here uh, B horizontal before that is B vertical this is going to be zero okay and it's going to be alpha delta T L of the DE and since this one is N sub DE is zero, so it's going to be zero times time alpha L delta T of the member DE. And it's going to produce zero millimeter. There is no horizontal displacement due to the temperature change. Okay. Okay. And if you draw the elastic curve, you're going to get the same thing. But the scale is going to reduce from three point to only point 0.08 okay if if for example if 
if the beam if the task sorry if the task is subjected to the load plus the fabrication fair fair be cation plus temperature change okay the V the V sub B vertical gonna be what gonna be the first one is here downward 6.81 6.81 and you have this is upward minus 3.33 okay and this one also minus 0 0.88 so the total of this is going to be reduced <laughs> to 2.6 millimeter and that would this mean temperature change on the roof of the truss will help to reduce the deflection okay to help to reduce the deflection of 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 the truss this is very nice that help okay to reduce the deflection okay uh this is uh all we have actually we can go a little bit further to decide our our problem uh, let's see if we consider six points uh, at one is too much for the deflection of the beam we can redesign the beam by sorry the task uh, the task by using uh, what we have uh, now and under the force we have v sub b in vertical direction of let's say 6.81 millimeter mm -hmm. and then if we limit we sub b v to 3.0 millimeter okay what is going to be the a what is going to be a and then for doing this that means this is too much okay we are going to really decide it we could get a bigger section by doing that uh, we may said this is 3 10 minus 3 meter is going to equal to this one equal to 122.64 divided by a and e e is going to be 210 minus 6 kilonewton per square meter you got to be per square meter because uh, the e uh, or of elasticity of the material and if you do this calculation you may determine the a right so uh, the a just put the a up here and do the calculation the a can be uh, 204 204.4 and 10 minus 6 meters square this is meter square and then also you know that 1 million square millimeter is equal to 1 square meter so this one going to be 204.4 millimeter square okay and but say if you are going to have the hollow section to use to build this truss and let this hollow section has the external diameter of d sub i and this has the internal diameter of d sub o 
and let the sub i to be like uh, 50 millimeter so how can you determine the the sorry this is d sub o this is d sub i or how do you mean d sub i but it's going to be d sub i now you can have the area of pi over 4 and you have what d sub o square minus d sub i square okay going to be your your area of 204.4 and this one going to be 50 square so you will have uh, your 50 square minus d sub i square equal to 204.4 times 4 over pi now you can do it easily okay you can determine d sub i and it's going to be 40 7.89 millimeter so just do this calculation and if they like to find the t what is going to be the t how much is the t and you know that this is going to be the t and the t okay you may see this uh, 2t equal to uh, d sub o minus d sub i okay so your t is going to be d sub o is 50 and your d sub i is minus 47.89 okay and then you may have what is divided by 2 so it's going to be 1.06 millimeter and now you can buy the steel hollow section with the diameter external diameter of outer outer diameter of 50 millimeter inner diameter of about uh, 47 okay and then you may get 27.89 you may get the thickness of this and you may not have this uh, section exactly you got to buy the bigger buy BUI BUI buy the bigger hollow section okay you got to buy you got to use the one that has the bigger section so this is the end of this example that include uh, the deformation of the truss under the the loads here and under the fabrication error and over the temperature change this is one of a good example of the truss that uh, involve many things also including the different in the area of the truss okay that is the end of the clips uh, i think you guys uh, will study it and try to do it by yourself to produce your skill okay okay that's it at the end of the clip bye